Welcome to Swahili Kingdom. Karibu sana. Karibu sana katika Swahili Kingdom. Na leo tunasoma kuhusu maneno sita ambayo haufai, haufai kabisa kusema ukija Kenya au Tanzania. Today we are learning about six words that you should never, you shouldn't say when you come to Kenya or Tanzania. Let me tell you this. Most of the times when you go to a foreign land, you you don't know their culture. Yes, and, and it is um it is not easy to learn another country's culture. Even even if you learn their culture, you might not finish um a whole of it because there are things that you need to learn individually, as in when you are there physically or when you are talking to the to a person from that country. And when you are talking for to a person from that country, you won't get everything. So, before you go to a certain country, I mean, this one I mean before you come to Kenya or Tanzania, you should not use these six words or people will be like, oh, what is he or she saying? Oh, oh my God. <laughs> okay, let's continue with the video and make sure you download the PDF for this video right now before... Three days are over. Bef because after three days it is going to expire. Let's go and continue. The first one, Naomba. Naomba. First of all, I will start with Kenya. When you are in Kenya, you should not, never ever, Use the word naomba when you are asking for something. Like, for instance, let's say you are asking, you are asking for water. You are somewhere and you are asking for water to drink. Don't go and tell that person, mambo naomba maji. By the way, if you don't know how to greet someone in Swahili, so that you can, apart from habarigani, you can go check the video suggested here. I have highlighted and explained 30 plus ways to greet people in Swahili. Apart from how are you? So go check the video. Or maybe you talk to that person and you tell them, Mambo naomba maji. Oh, that person will be like, huh, unaomba maji. You know, in Kenya, when you say about naomba, kuomba is to pray. Kuomba is to pray. Kuomba is to pray. So when you tell someone Naomba, they will feel like, um, are you praying or what what are you trying to say? But they will under they will of course they will understand you, but it will be awkward. It will be awkward. So if you don't want to be awkward, make sure you don't ask someone, you don't tell someone Naomba Maji. No. If you want to be respectful, use Nisaidie. Namaji. Nisaidie namaji. Nisaidie namaji. Okay? Don't don't go to sound. Don't go there and start sounding awkward. Even though the person might understand you, maybe they might see you sounding awkward. But of course not everyone will see you sounding awkward. For instance, there is this time in our um, in our office. In our office, someone was um, someone came to ask for water. Of course, he's in Kenya. He's a Kenyan, but he wanted to see the reaction of other people. So he came, and he he told us we were a group of us were sitting, and he told us, "Saseni, hi, naomba maji, naomba maji." And one of our one of our colleagues told her, "Oh, unaomba maji, piga magoti." <laughs> I was laughing. She, so that one's me. Oh, are you praying for water? Kneel down. <laughs> I was laughing. I was literally laughing. So instead of saying Naomba Maji, use Nisaidie Maji. Nisaidie Maji. That is being respectful. But if you don't want to be respectful, you can say Nipe Maji. Give me water. So watch your tongue. You either be respectful to be respected or to disrespect to be disrespected, okay? But when you are in Tanzania, kindly use Naomba. 
Tanzania Swahili is very decent. So when you are talking, when you are asking someone for water, for example, let's say you are in a hotel and you want water. So a waiter or a waitress is called muhudumu. So in Swahili, they, in Tanzania, they even use that word to show respect to the waiter or the waitress. So you will say, muhudumu, muhudumu, naomba unisaidie na maji. You see, you put naomba and nisaidie. But in Kenya, don't dare put naomba. Just say nisaidie. So, mhudumu, naomba, unisaidie na maji. Waiter, I request you, I request you give me some water. Or I request you assist me with some water. So that way, they will see at least you are tuning in with, with their culture. You are being respectful. So, people will also respect you. Another word, shoga. Shoga, shoga. This word you should never use in Kenya. Why? Because it means a prostitute. In Kenya, it means a prostitute. And in Tanzania, it, in, it means a friend, a very close friend. Like, I remember one time when someone was saying in Tanzania, we were watching a movie, a Tanzanian, a Tanzanian movie, and they were saying, Huyu ni shoga wangu. Huyu ni shoga wangu. This is my dear friend. But when you come to Kenya and you tell someone, Huyu ni shoga wangu, this is my prostitute. No, you cannot say that. So don't say the word shoga when you come in Kenya. Say rafiki. To be safe in both countries, use rafiki because we both know what, is, what rafiki is. But Tanzanians use shoga and rafiki. But to be safe. Use Rafiki in both countries. Another one, another one, this is in Kenya. Don't call people Kaka or Dada or Ndugu. Okay? Don't go and tell someone Kaka yangu or Ndugu yangu. Of course, some of the people will, be, will appreciate to be called like that, but there are others who will not. They, like, you might call someone, you might tell someone, Asante sana kakayangu. This one is mostly used in Tanzania. Uh, like I said, Tanzanians use very decent and respectful Swahili. So they will be saying, Asante sana kakayangu. Or Asante sana ndugu yangu. Asante sana. But in Kenya, just say Asante or Asante sana. And you leave. Don't add any other things or yeah, just say asante if you are thankful. Asante or nashukuru or shukrani. By the way, you can check this video to see more other words you can use to say thank you in Swahili apart from asante. But asante is okay. Asante is okay. So in Kenya, when you call someone dugu yangu or dada yangu, they will feel like, oh, are you my brother? Are you my sister? Why, is, why are you feeling like we are close? But I'm just saying, okay, don't use kaka, dugu, unless you are close to someone. When you are just coming to this country, you are just visiting, you don't have anyone who is close to you, don't use these ones. Don't use kaka. Don't use these ones. Just tell someone, asante. Or if you know their name, maybe their name is Maria. Asante Maria. Asante Buonacombo. Don't go tell people, Asante Nduguyangu. No. Another one is Bibi. Bibi. Yeah, most of the people, especially most of the Swahili learners, have been telling me, um, when I tell them that in Swahili, we call a grandmother, Nyanya, Nyanya, they tell me, oh, but Connie, why do, why do I see some places saying Bibi, which means grandma? Well, Swahili uses both Bibi and Nyanya as grandma. But when you come to Kenya, especially when it's not Mombasa, Mombasa, Mombasa is the only one which is an, an exception that you can use Tanzanian Swahili. Tanzanians use Bibi as a grandma and they also use Nyanya, but they rarely use Nyanya. They use Bibi most of the time as a grandma. And Kenya uses Bibi as a wife. Bibi is a wife. Yes, Bibi is a wife. A wife can be Bibi or Muke. 
mke or bibi so tanzanians use mke as a wife and bibi as a grandma kenya uses bibi or mke as a wife and nyanya as a grandma i hope you have understood that so when you come to kenya don't say that uh, you greeted a grandma somewhere say nilimsalimia nyanya moja mahali fulani i greeted a grandmother in some place don't go tell people nilimsalimia nili bibi who is bibi bibi is a wife don't go tell them nilimsalimia they will think of when you say bibi it will, their, their brain will just click on wife and not grandma okay but when you use in tanzania it's okay in tanzania you can use both nyanya and bibi but they use most of the time bibi kenya bibi is a wife avoid it use nyanya and nyanya is also a tomato nyanya is also a tomato so know how you are using it okay another one samahani samahani well as i said earlier this fancy decent respectful words they are used most of the time in tanzania so in tanzania when you go and tell someone samahani kaka naomba msamaha i'm sorry bro i'm asking for your forgiveness they will understand you and they will respect you because of the way you are speaking but come to kenya you can't tell anyone that they will be like why do you feel like you know a whole lot of swahili talk like other people <laughs> so when you come to kenya don't use samahani when you wrong someone just tell them pole naomba msamaha pole or nisamehe you can check more words to use instead of saying pole they are here suggested here and those words you can use both in kenya and tanzania i have said which words you should not use in kenya and which words you should use in kenya or tanzania of course i tell you this because i don't want you to to be speaking swahili and people are like oh this is awkward another one is asante asante yes asante is to say thank you but when you are in kenya i don't mean you should not say thank you you should not say asante you should say asante but when you are in kenya just say asante and let us be i mean don't go tell us asante nashukuru nimefurahia maisha yangu yote and we even don't know you you are just a foreigner just tell the person asante or you can add asante mungu akubariki thank you may god bless you but don't go adding those things so saying asante kaka like i have said you should not call people kaka in kenya asante to just use it like that asante mungu akubariki just be flat okay don't go telling people asante umenisaidia sana no don't but in tanzania you can say asante and add all the respectful words that you know asante mungu akubariki umenisaidia sana kama si wewe even though you are a foreigner or whoever you can say all those words in tanzania but in kenya don't just use asante or shukran or whatever don't add any spices in kenya okay and that is the end of our video i hope after you have finished this video you will know which words you should use where even though you don't know the culture at least you know some basics of the words that you need to use so that you will not sound awkward people will not be you know when you sound awkward people will start will start uh, getting away from you like they will they will not like being around you but when you sound the way their culture when you sound the way their culture goes people will always want to be around you they also they will always want to talk to you so when you go to Tanzania talk the decent respectful the fancy swahili when you come to Kenya just be flat okay say what you are supposed to say be straight to the point don't add some fancy words because people will avoid you thank you so much for watching this video and until next time bye